And the state has just ordered a daycare center to be shut down. It's Little Minds Learning Center in Jefferson County. And parents contacted Denver 7, told us they are stunned. And they're also scrambling now for child care. And Contact 7 is our commitment to get answers for you. And Denver 7's Lance Hernandez talked to parents, a former employee, and to the CEO. And Lance, you learned this has to do with what the state describes as consistent failures. What does that mean? Well, Ann, I can tell you that right now this note on the front door indicates that the center is just closed down temporarily, but this state document indicates they have found consistent failures to maintain qualified staff and appropriate staffing levels. It also cites several safe sleep violations. All the violations listed here, the state alleging, were willful or deliberate. It was a stunning surprise for many parents. For them to just close abruptly like this and not give us any fair warning was disastrous uh, to probably a hundred families. Brian Scarpetta says he learned about it from a friend who also has children attending Little Minds. We thought that they were joking at first. It was no joke. The state says Little Minds was first cited in 2016 for consistent failure to maintain licensing standards and for an incident where an infant was burned by hot water from a microwave. In January of this year, the Learning Center was put on probation because of multiple safe sleep violations. In one instance, a child was observed sleeping with a pacifier attached to a long strap, posing a strangulation hazard. I wasn't impressed with how they were trying to pack my room. This former employee, who asked to remain anonymous, says Little Minds has been cited before for violating the child staff ratio. The state says it's an ongoing problem. I call this like the pump and dump method. You just throw a bunch of kids in a room um, with a teacher, but you're still over You're over ratioing because you don't have the right amount of staff. Little Mind CEO didn't want to go on camera, but he told me we have a significant disagreement with DHS. He added, we are deeply frustrated and saddened by the actions that didn't allow us due process and by the position it put parents in. Did you ever bring your child back here if they open up again? Uh, absolutely not. Now, according to this order, the state will hold an administrative hearing to determine whether the center's license will be further suspended or even revoked. In Jefferson County, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Thank you, Lance. If you have a tip, if you have something, a problem you think we should look into, contact 7. 720-462-7777. You can also send us an email, contact7 at thedenverchannel.com.